we're so lucky to have two of our directors from Beyond Zero Emissions here with us at COP. Uh, with me is Christina Talaco, and she's one of the board of she's on the board of BZE, but she also has many other hats. So, Christina, tell us what brings you to COP. Well, it's great to be here, and it's even greater to know that Visa D actually brought three people along. So I'm very glad to see everyone here representing Australia. What brought me along was Coalition for Conservation, the organization of the CEO. It's a charitable um, organization registered in Australia as a charity. And what we do is we try to be the voice or advocate for better climate policy in the centre-right of politics. So we brought legislators here to acclimatise and get to know different people at COP, uh, meet experts and understand where the world is moving in terms of finance, investment, technologies. So they bring home all this knowledge and expertise and then they tell the party room uh, what things would actually help Australia to have better climate policy. What a great place to be doing that work. It is really it made for that. And tell us, why is it important for BZD to be here? Well, I was one of the people who actually thought BZD has to start coming to COP. Uh, this, there's a lot of momentum, there's a lot of companies, think tanks, organizations that are participating at COP at the moment. And BZD produces so many great reports. It sort of has so many, represents so many companies with great technology that it's a waste not to showcase it to the world. COP has the environment and the, it's, a, it's the place to be at the moment. So we see here the amount of, and the variety of industry and other uh, participants that are here. And to globalize and to showcase what Australia has, our great capability in engineering, in new technologies, clean technologies, you have to be here. Thank you. Thank you so much, Christina. It's been so good to be here with you. Thank you.